Hi YouTube, uh, it's Jim here, Extreme Booter. It's 6.04 in the morning, Sunday. Um, I've just arrived at my first car boot. In the queue to get in at the moment. The weather is awesome. I'm expecting these to be massive today. So fingers crossed I'm going to get a load of stuff. Yeah, the problem I find with this car boot is I'm up against a lot of other people looking for the exact same things as me. I say the exact same things, but some of the things, most of the things I look for, I mean, there's about 10 or 15 guys here who buy video game stuff. Um, so I, I didn't pick any of that up. Um, there's several guys who pick up golf clubs and things like that but I mean as I say I've managed to get a few bits it's, it's boiling hot already it's now what 10 past 8 it's boiling hot it's lovely um, so I'm just off to the next car boot and the next one for some reason I don't, there doesn't seem to be that many competition resellers um, that go to that which obviously is good for me so fingers crossed anyway okay that's the second car boot that I've done you can probably see by my forehead and the sound of my voice, it is boiling hot already. Uh, I've packed the car at that car boat, brilliant. Got loads and loads of stuff, so really happy. Um, one more to do, so it doesn't start till 11, so I've got an hour or so. So I'll go back to the, go back to my caravan, uh, have something to eat and then go there. So, uh, okay, see you in a bit. Right, we're at the third boot, as you can see. Here it is. I've got the team with me now, so fingers crossed, get some stuff. Thank you. Right, double day of booting today. It's uh, Bank Holiday Monday, sun's out, it's beautiful. Got Charlie with me, back of the car boat, so let's see what we can find. Right, back again. Um, it's now the Tuesday uh, after the bank holiday, so we had uh, car boots on the Saturday. Uh, for, well for me not the Saturday because I was away, the Sunday and the Monday um, weather was incredible, we've been down at the caravan so uh, we've been really lucky um, it's again really hot today so I've just been going through what I've picked up at the car boot um, I'm going to have to split this in two because I did pick up a massive haul of um, Thomas the tank engine track master while I was at the car boot but there's literally so much of it um, I'm going to sort it out in a bit and, uh, and see what we've got um, and I'll add that to the video um, obviously before I, I publish it up to YouTube. So just quickly to go through what, we, what I picked up uh, this weekend. Um, golf wise, I normally pick up loads of golf stuff but didn't at all this weekend. All I've got was two bags. I've got an OGO stand bag, it's in mm, reasonable condition. Uh, I'll shoot for 20 on that because the condition, as I say, it's, it's not brilliant. I've uh, got an old uh, Callaway Big Bertha um, leatherette, is it, or vinyl um, cart bag. Nice condition. Go for about 25 30 on that one. Um, I think I paid fiver for each, so £10 for the two. Um, got um, a couple of Canon lenses for Canon DSLRs uh, both ultrasonics for the digitals and there's a 2880 and also a 35105 uh, missing the caps unfortunately but they look in good condition I checked for any fungus there I can't see anything um, I'll put them on my camera I've got a Canon myself so I'll put them on there um, and just test them and make sure they're fine but they should go for about £25 each um, I paid a fiver again for the two, so 
pleased with that one, that should be decent so. Um, picked up a couple of I don't know, Samsonite Sammy's bags. These were a pound each. Probably only get eight or nine pound for them. Oh the dogs just walked past in the camera shot. <laughs> so I've got that one and I think where's the other one? The other one's a um turtle. Oh, it's underneath loads of stuff I'll show in a bit. So I paid a pound for them, probably eight pound each I'll get for them on eBay. Um another camera. Canon PowerShot um, S2IS, there goes the dog again, um, it's an older camera but it's boxed, it's complete, it's got all the software, it's in really good condition, uh, paid £3 for it, um, I haven't checked that to be honest, but I'm expecting about £25, £30 for it. so that was a good one, um, I always look for these. Gunson's Gas Tester Mark II, this one. Um, I normally buy anything I see that's Gunson's. Um, reason why? Well, I paid £2 for this. The last one I had, I sold for £100. Um, now, unfortunately, this one is missing the little probe that goes in the exhaust. You can see on the back, this little probe thing. So I'm not going to get for 100 on this one. Um, but even so, without that, I'll probably put it on for a bite now around 50, 50, 50, 60 pound, but for two quid. And I say, I've, I've, had, I've, I've managed to pick up a few of these, and every time I see guns and stuff, whether it be the gas testers or the timing lights or um, battery charges and things like that, the guns and stuff's really, really good and sells really, really well. I also use some of it when I used to do the, uh, used to, I used to play with minis. There's one behind me in the picture. Um, I used to use this stuff, really top top quality stuff. Um, but people, because it's older, people have had it in their garage, uh, you know, sitting there for ages, and they think, oh, it's not worth anything, but it is, it is, it is. Right, Nerf guns. The all familiar long strike. I've got two long strikes. I paid five for one, ten for the other. I know that sounds a lot, but I'll sell them for 45 each. Uh, they really are really popular. Nerf guns. One of the ones I've got has got a bit of damage, the one with a little bit of damage on the tip, so I might go and get 40 for that. But even so, 15 quid to 80, 85 pound. Not going to complain with that. Got a Chuggington Super Chugger uh, carry case. Um, I had one of these a while ago. Paid 50p for this one. I had one of these for a while ago. You store your trains in here. Um, sold for about 15 so I thought well 50p, 15 quid, bargain, he's in reasonable condition, I'll, I'll give him a good wipe over before he goes on, um, but yeah, he's alright. Uh, board games, I only got four board games from the same person, paid £12 for the four, uh, there's a Lord of the Rings Strategio, probably going to get not eight, nine pounds for that. Aragon, the board game, again, probably seven ninety five. And then there's Dragonology and Wizardology. And they'll probably go 15, 15 maybe more each. Um, so, yeah, I thought for, for £12 for the... No, £10 for the four. They were £3 each. She had one of the game, which was rubbish. Um, so, as you said, ten for the four, and she agreed. So... Um, but yeah, should get uh, decent profit on those board games. Um, still going. Now I haven't researched this, but I need to. I think this is a a race suit. You can see, and it's snap-on. So you can't go wrong with snap-on. And it's also McLaren. Now the guy said it had never been worn. I mean, it's it looks it, it does look really good. It's got loads of grass on it because it was obviously on on his stool, which was on, uh, on the floor on the grass. Um, but yeah, I mean, for a snap-on race suit, is it a race suit or a boiler suit? I think it might just be a boiler suit. It doesn't look very protective, but I'll do a bit of research on that. Um, not sure on value, but I picked it up. The same guy I bought a 
Suzuki um, Crescent Suzuki British Superbikes fleece and also a Rizna Suzuki waterproof jacket which is really nice and they're also good sizes they're both XLs now this is a double XL uh, I paid £15 for the three um, now I know the fleece will sell for 30 the jacket 40 maybe more and I haven't researched the suit yet so I mean I'm presuming it's a snap-on boiler suit I'm presuming 35 40 quid it might be more I don't know um, I, when I've had a look I'll um, I'll hopefully be very very pleased <laughs> so that's them and um, one of my more random purchases um, this weekend was this a shovel now it's damaged unfortunately just there but this is an old firing shovel from um, a steam engine or a traction engine or, or something like that now I picked it up and thought oh, I wonder if that says anything on it and, I, and I, I thought it said GWR now if that's if that was the case GWR firing shovel would have been would be about four or five hundred quid believe it or not um, and I was positive it said that but I cleaned it off a little bit and it, it seems to say LNR I've never heard of LNR um, I mean I've looked on eBay similar ones BR ones British Rail ones things like that sell for about 60 70 quid I paid a tenner for this one so I think it'll be in the region of the 60 70 quid mark I'll do a bit more research to fit a bit more cleaning on this to see if I can you can't you can't see it but there's some writing on it I just need to do a bit more research to see what it says but I say I was positive at the time it said GWR if it had said that well I'd have been quitting but unfortunately it did. right moving on we've got a Tomy big big loader and um, the guy tells me it's complete I must admit I haven't checked yet um, I paid a tenner for this but it's easy £30 um, because it's the big big loader I might go in for even more I'm pretty sure I sold one recently but I can't remember if it was £39.99 or £49.99 but even so for tenner I mean I, I don't want to pay a tenner I'd rather pay a two or three quid but I know that that's going to sell reasonably well and I know it's going to be good money so I mean there is the other one the big loader Obviously, this is the big, big loader. It's got an additional track, um, and it's got the the lift on it. Um, but yeah, they're always really good, really good. Um, I think that's about it. Got the other Nerf gun. Over. Uh, I've gone through uh, eBay uh, listings to just to try and gauge roughly some values. Uh, obviously, I know there is value in in Trapmaster. I've I've dealt with quite a bit of it in the past. Um, but yeah, roughly from the boxed stuff, I'll be listing for around 200. Um, not as much as I'd hoped, but 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 okay. I'm I'm reasonably pleased with that. I've been through all the boxes; they're all complete. Um, there, are, I think, a couple of trains missing that should be in them. Maybe they're in one of the other boxes I haven't gone through yet, but we'll we'll see. Um, the trains themselves, there's probably 60, 70 pounds worth of trains that aren't from these sets um, in the boxes. So, yeah, there's that. And then there's a massive box full of track. Uh, it's the blue earlier Trackmaster track. Um, so, yeah, so all in probably 350, maybe a bit more from 60 quid. So that's pretty good to me. So yeah, there's my pickups for this weekend. Reasonably pleased. Uh, sales have started going really well on eBay the last few weeks. Um, I don't know whether it's because the sun's coming out, people are buying stuff, but but it's all good. Um, yeah, I'll be back next weekend. Weather's look, looking promising for next weekend. In the meantime, I'll be listing, um, parceling, uh, charity shopping. <laughs> everything else a reseller does so um yeah see you next time thanks for watching cheers bye